hello everyone welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys the steps you never seen to troubleshoot this issue let me show you the error first if I try to open the camera here as you can see we can't find your camera if the error code is 4244 in the last so this video is for you guys I will show you troubleshoot the issue in Windows 10 and 11 step by step so first of all guys we need to make sure that there is a driver installed in the device manager so in order to check that since the camera driver comes integrated it means that integrated means the hardware come with the manufacturer I mean the laptop itself so you don't want to use any uh, driver for that you just need to make sure that it is attached here it means that the hardware should be listed here if not the camera will not work simply so we will troubleshoot this issue later but in my case as you can see here it is down so we can try to enable this so this is the primary steps and also you can update it but this will not install the driver if it is integrated camera as you can see my laptop has an integrated camera so this will not update any driver so we have to simply fix the issue sometime if it is hidden so we can go to view and show hidden devices and see if you are able to see the camera here or not and you can also scan for hardware changes so sometime what happens that sometime it comes here sometime it goes away so in order to fix this issue guys we can simply open the google chrome and i hope you know about the camera permission here like these are the basic setting to troubleshoot this issue ok go to privacy and security option here and make sure you have given the camera to full access here like so in windows 11 also uh, let me show you the privacy and security options since i have promised the windows 11 and 10 so i'm showing you both steps okay and here is the camera you can see here as you can see camera is off here so we can simply turn it on okay and also go to camera device setting and as you can see here all the options are enabled ok and and also we can check the webcam test here my issue should fix now so let me show you in windows 11 also webcam test tap there webcam test okay and go to first link and it will tell you the camera is accessible or not let me show you it is detecting it is online test as you can check my webcam did not camera load so we have to give its permission here as you can see let me reload it now the main driver I have seen is BIOS since BIOS update is the most important in the camera situation if you have the integrated camera since the basic input output devices ok so we can try since I am using the video recorder here it is going to OBS virtual camera so let me open the device manager from there also in windows 11 well, as you can see here i have to enable this option ok and now let me try here webcam test now it should come up if the test is working fine here integrated camera as you can see here you can see camera is working fine here it means if you are uh, 
camera is working here so you can look for the setting here or you can repair the app here like open the camera and go to its uh, app setting if you need to only follow this step if the camera is working in the webcam test and you can repair it since there is some issue and the setting with your integrated camera and also I have shown you to access all the and you can reset it in the last method I will show you powerful method to fix that issue okay and also we have seen the privacy and security settings there camera and make sure whichever app you are using just enable the settings there and see if it fix the issue or not if not your camera is still not working here guys in the web test so we have to simply open the CMD and we have to look for the serial number WMIC CS product hit enter now as you can see here this is my serial number this is confidential but I'm showing you this is my uh, brand model number and I need to type her Dell driver download if you are using another camera like HP driver download in my Windows 10 I am using here the HP laptop so in Windows you can see here we need to paste here the serial number and search it if it is asking to install the driver I mean the manufacturer driver go ahead and install that expand this and this is the most important driver guys this one basic input output device since hardware is connected through this basic output and BIOS device simply download that and one another common driver and useful driver is display driver since display interact with the camera as you can see here the second one I will looking for below graphic driver so make sure you have installed the first one driver first I mean the BIOS driver first plug in the charger I will show you how to install it as you can see here just make a double click on its exe this is the BIOS driver simply yes and this command the serial number command you will get into my description box don't worry about the command it seems it hasn't come yet so uh, yes you want to install it okay uh, let me show the BIOS update here MS Info 32 as you can see here I have the same version of the BIOS uh, that's why it is not running there 2020-22 but if you have any patches not update related to the BIOS driver so you have to install the BIOS driver guys and after the restarting let it run automatically your system will automatically start it once the BIOS driver is updated and after that if still issue you can run the graphic card driver here and I'm pretty sure your sh issue should fix after applying this method so in the last method guys we have the last fix for you and that is reset the PC and the reset is the PC is the most important part in this video so you can choose this option the last option you can try and this will fix all kind of issues while keeping all the data I mean your personal file will be kept in Windows 
so this option is pretty good for you you can choose the local reinstall here and I suggest you to choose the cloud download if you have enough internet cloud download will reinstall fresh file from the Microsoft cloud so this option is better I guess and this option will be locally reinstalled all the old files of Windows will be installed so make sure you choose the cloud download if you have the good internet and enough internet it will only take 4 GB of the data cloud download and this will not take any net so I'm pretty sure after applying the reset option guys your issue will be fixed and you are good to go if still not fix your issue guys you have to look for the hardware label and go to the shop and get it repaired you have to replace your webcam to fix the issue or you can go to the HP support or the Lenovo support team if your system is under warranty so hope this helps you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech so if your issue is fixed guys you can keep motivated me and help me with joining my membership so hope this helps if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech